Hello everyone, welcome to my political journalism news channel. The story for today is Liberal turned independent MP Troy Bell has penned a scathing letter to his former party days out from the SA state election, refusing to guarantee support in the event of a hung parliament and telling Premier Stephen Marshall the clock is ticking to match Labour spending in his seat. The Mount Gambier MP also accused the Premier of having underestimated his intelligence, if Mr Marshall is counting on his backing in the event of there being no clear winner from Saturday's poll. Mr Bell, who was elected as the member for Mount Gambier in 2014, resigned from the Liberal Party in 2017 after being charged with stealing a substantial amount of taxpayers' money, but retained his seat as an independent at the 2018 state election. He has pleaded not guilty to misappropriating $2 million in public funds while working for an independent learning center before he entered Parliament, and a last-ditch attempt to stop the matter going to trial is due to go before the High Court later today. The Mount Gambier MP is also seeking to defend separate charges of making more than $54,000 in false claims for a taxpayer-funded accommodation allowance paid to country MPs. In what Mr Bell described as an open note to his former colleagues, he accused the government of committing a paltry $2.7 million to his seat, compared to Labor commitments totaling $100 million, if you think it $2. 7 million election commitment is going to cut it for the state's second largest city, then I think you have underestimated the intelligence of my community, he wrote. If you are hedging your bets and think that you can promise next to nothing and then come calling after the election to secure my support, then you have seriously underestimated my intelligence. While the SA government yesterday ruled out further big funding announcements, Mr Bell challenged Mr Marshall to commit seriously to our great community. You could at least match the Labour Party's commitment to Mount Gambier of $24 million for the Mount Gambier Hospital, $35 million for trade training, $25 million for forestry, $7.4 million for additional paramedics, $3.5 million for drug and alcohol services as well as the $2 million for a cross-border commissioner, Mr Bell wrote. Come on Stephen, the clock is ticking. Tick tock, Premier defends regional spending record. Mr Marshall hit back, defending what he said was record investments in country roads, hospitals and schools under his government. If you have a look at our credentials over the past four years, we've massively delivered for regional South Australia, he said. If we take a look down in the seat of Mount Gambier, currently there's a $250 million commitment to upgrading the Prince's Highway from Talem Bend all the way through to the border with Victoria. We've had upgrades and expansions of our capacity within the Mount Gambier Hospital. We've had upgrades to the Grand High, to the Gambier High, to Reedy Park Primary School. Appearing on ABC Radio Adelaide this morning, Mr Bell subsequently denied the letter was an attempt to distract attention from his legal battle, saying that matter was totally separate. Mr Bell said he had supplied an electoral wish list to both parties in August, and again warned the Liberals not to count on his support should it be needed to form government. Either one of two things, is, happening, Mr Bell told ABC Radio Adelaide, one, their, liberal polling is really good and they're saying, well, we don't need to commit to the seat of Mount Gambier because we're going to win more than 24 seats and any commitment we make before the election we'll have to honour afterwards. Or they are saying, well just come down to Mount Gambier after the election if we need the seat and Troy will just come back to the Liberal Party and well just match whatever Labour has put on the table. While Mr Bell did not rule out an eventual rapprochement with the Liberal Party, he said he did not regard Labor's commitments as pork barrelling but as key investments. The state Labor Party are showing their hand, they're saying that they're backing my region, and of course that will be front of mind in any discussions going forward, he said. Labor leader Peter Malinowskis said he was not surprised that Mount Gambier's local community is frustrated. It's got a growing economy, it's got an extraordinary amount of opportunity around its abundant natural resources, and the highly productive nature of its labor force, he said. But it has issues confronting its health system as well. In response, Mr Marshall said his government had worked to fix the mess of transforming health and accused labor of promising anything to anybody. We are not going to go around with blank checks in every single electorate in the state, he said. Asked whether Mr Marshall should head to Mount Gambier for discussions with Mr Bell, Health Minister Stephen Wade said that was a matter for the leadership of the party. That is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news updates.